Hi guys, this is Rahul here. Today I will be showing my Adnog Digital Twin Oil Rig in Minecraft. So before going into the oil rig, first let's grab our items from the chest. So in this chest we have uniform, which is basically leather, tunic, cap, pants and boots, which I have dyed blue. And we have a gate pass, which is a paper which is renamed as a gate pass. Now, let's put our uniform on. And now let's go into the oil rig. So before we go into the oil rig, we first need a mode of transport. So that will be minecart. See here, if we click this button, we get a minecart. And now let's go. So now as we are traveling to the oil rig, I have made an ad hoc sign here, as you've seen before. So break the minecart, go up this ladder. Here's where we need our gate pass. We need to show our gate pass to the security. If he approves it, we can come into the oil rig. So now let's go into the staff cabin. So here in the first floor of the staff cabin, we have one, two, three, four, and five rooms. So here we have the manager's room, which has a chest, a table, a chair, and a bed. And oh yeah, it has a painting too. Now, after this, we have another manager's room, which has the same things. Here we have the star, uh, we have the room for all the workers of the rig. We have a lot of bunk beds here. And here we have our rest room. We have a restroom. And here we have our laundry room. So you drop your clothes in this and they get washed here and they come back to you all clean. And now we go up this ladder to the second floor. Now in the second floor we have three things which is a dining area, food storage area and here we have an office area. So here in the food storage area, we have three chests storing seafood, wedge, and meat. Here we have an office area. And if we go out this door, we have a dining area. Now, you can still dine here, but we even have a canteen, which is downstairs. I'll come to it later. And here, if you go up this ladder, we are into the recreation facilities. Now the recreation facilities is basically where all the workers relax, have fun and exercise. So here we have a swimming pool. And if we go down here, I have made a gym with treadmills, and weightlifting so that's all the facilities of the rig in the first floor now let's go to the second floor so here we have two things which first is a canteen so you, this was the canteen i'm talking about and here we have a cooking area with a view of the sea and there is a wandering trader there Anyways, we go out here and right here we have our library. It has a lot of books. So you can just sit and read and learn a lot while on the oil rig. Oil rig. That's it for the facilities of the oil rig. Now let's get into the parts of the oil rig. But before we do that, First, I will show you a presentation. And here we have a helicopter pad too. 
And yes, you can actually ride this helicopter. So, for now I'll show my, now I'll show my presentation right here. So this is basically a diagram. So now I'll list out the parts. So here we have the crown block at the top of the rig and the descent move. Traveling block at the end of the block and tackle that moves. Rotary table, a device in the drill floor that rotates the drill string. Kelly drive, a device in the center of the rotary table that applies downward force on the drill string. Swivel or top drive, a device that hangs from the traveling block and allows the drill to rotate. Blowout preventer, a device that stops fluids and gases from escaping the well. Then we have mud tank. A tank that stores drilling fluid. Mud pump and suction line. A pump and pipe that draws drilling fuel from the mud tank into the oil rig. Stand pipe. I mean drill pipes, steel or aluminum alloy tubes that are used to pump drilling fluid into the well. Drill string, a group of pipes and tools to carry drilling fluid into the drill pit. And finally, the drill bit, a tool that drills a cylindrical hole into the earth. So that is it for my presentation. And now let's go back to my Minecraft oil rig. So here, let's begin. Now, on this floor, the first thing I am going to show you is the derrick. So if you go up the stairs, we are on the platform of the derrick called the raking board. This is where mo all, 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 most of the workers stand while working on the derrick. And here, if we go up, we have a viewing platform which I have made right here, which takes a look at this, which is the setback. The setback is basically an area with a lot of pipes. Now if we go up here and we go around here and we climb this ladder, we are finally at the top of the, oh, we are at the top of the derrick. The derrick stop is called the crown block and it doesn't move. So this is the crown block. And now, let's go downstairs to look at the rest of the facilities. So here, we have first an engine room. Engine room. In the engine room, we have our engine and we have a lever right here, which puts it on and off. So it's off now and now it's on. Next, if we go out of the engine room, we have uh, this chamber. This chamber has two things in it, which is the oil tank right here and the mud tank. So the mud tank basically is a tank that st stores a drilling fluid. And here we have an oil tank which stores the oil. Now, let's take a look underwater. So here, in this chest, we have all the equipment to go underwater because you always need to be safe. And these are a few tools if you need to fix anything underwater. So let's put on our diving gear And let's keep our uniform back. Now let's take a dive underwater. So you go to this platform, get a hold of the ladder and slowly descend underwater. Once you're underwater, 
I will, once you're underwater, you go here and fix whatever is there. So now I will show you how, what is my underwater part. So here we have the drill pipe. I mean, we have the drill line, which is there. And here we have the drill bit, which drills underground. After the drill bit is there, a drill pipe comes in and sucks the oil that the drill bit has drilled. And you're probably guessing where does this oil go and how does it come to us? That's what I'm about to tell you. So here, after the oil is taken from here, we have a blowout preventer to stop it from just bursting out. And if we go up here, we have going this going through a pipe right into the oil tank over here. After that, the oil tank connects it into this area, which is a storage room. So let's go in and check out what's there. So it's connected to this device, which will use a pipe to fill in the barrels. And after there are enough barrels to be shipped away, they are put into huge crates like these, taken by the crane, moved onto ships, and the ships take the crates and it. And those are processed and brought into the fuel and gas we use in our daily lives. Now I will show you all the angles of view for my oil rig. Here, front. Now we are on the we are on the left side. Now we are on the back. and about to go to the right side and in the right side we also have an anchor that goes all the way to the bottom of this seabed right like this and we're back to the front side now, there are many instances where the oil rig has had a danger of exploding. So in such a time, we have a facility right here called the evacuation facility. So here, if you click this button, if you click this button, you get a boat and you place the boat here you get into the boat and you evacuate the oil rig. And that will be it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for more content. Bye.